Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break down and do some circuits on DC circuits for you. The reason I'm going to go through that is it's the highest failed question in the LET exam. So what I'm going to do is draw a simple series parallel circuit, going back to the very basics, all right? And I'm going to step through how we break these circuits down, all right? So I've got a 90 ohm resistor. And if you can get the basics of this down, you'll end up understanding how the circuit works. All right, so I've just done a simple series parallel circuit. If we have a look over here, we have three um, bits of formula we need to know. So we're doing a simple Ohm's law. Okay, Ohm's law there. And then we do the power formula, which is I squared over R. P equals V squared over R. All right, no, sorry, I squared times R, sorry, and V squared over R. So I squared times R. So we tend to use this one on a, if we're using a single resistor, and I'll show you that in the formula, you know, example later. And this one we use more for when we've got a voltage drop across or two in parallel. The last one we have is equal to V times I, which would be used if we're looking for the total power, okay? All right, so I've kind of drawn this up a little bit. We'll draw this here. I'm going to go through the working out. So the first two things I always find is resistance total and current total. All right, so the first thing, now they're always going to ask you to find three things. They'll either ask you to find, uh, actually if it's something a bit darker. They always ask you to find power. They ask you to find voltage drop. And they ask you to find current. They're the three items that they'll get you to find in a series parallel circuit or some type of DC circuit. So the first one I'm going to do is we're going to find um, the power of this one. We're going to do voltage drop of the 60 ohm. And we're going to find the current flowing through the 90 and power here for the 90. All right. So first one, resistance total. So we're going to do 1 over 60 plus 1 over 90, okay, plus the 90 ohms, and then give us a total. Now, if you have a look at my calculator here, I've got a Casio one, right, which is pretty much the most common one. But the main thing I'm looking for to tell you is this X1 key over here, 1 over X. All right, can you see that there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first one. So I'm going to put 60... All right, push the X1, and if you have a look, it's like 1 over 60. Can you see that? It's like 1 over 60. Then I'm going to do the next one, plus 90 over X1. So now I've got 60 at 1 over 60 plus 1 over 90. I'm going to now push the equal button, and I get a 1 over. So now I'm going to push the X over 1 again for the answer to revert it back in. Push equal, and I've got 36. So 36, bring that in a little bit closer, mate. 36 is what I'm going to find. So what it is now is the common value between those two there is 36 ohms if I was looking at one resistor being in series. All right. So now if I drew that up here, this is what I'd have, 36 and 90. That's a common difference between those two. The thing you always got to remember too, that this value here has to be smaller than the smallest value in parallel. All right, just some simple rules. So we've got that there now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go 36 plus uh, 90, okay? And we get 126 ohms, okay? Right, the next thing, ohms law. I want to find out the total current for the circuit. So to find the total current for the circuit, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look for, so I is what I'm looking for. I'm going to cover that up. As soon as I cover up the letter I'm looking for, I have V divided by resistance. All right, and this is how Ohm's law works. The letter that you're looking for, you cover. So if I was looking for voltage, I'd have I times R. And if I have R, I'll have V divided by I. So this is the divide part. This is the times part in the middle. All right. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to write my formula up. Formula is always important because it identifies what you're dividing. So I have voltage. I'm going to put 360 volts divided by the resistance, which was a resistance total of 126. So I go back to my calculator, we put in 360 volts, divided by 126, and we get 
a answer which I will then do there 2.8 okay so 2.8 amps now once I've got this value the resistance total the current total and the voltage I can then do whatever I need to do to break up so the first thing I'm going to do is look at the power here right power for this resistor so what I'm going to do is over here P for the 60 ohm resistor sorry 90 ohm so when I came back to here before I talked about this being in a single repair single circuit I have the current flowing through there which is 2.8 amps okay if you look over here and I have the resistance which is 90 so I can go I squared times R equals so I'm going to go 2.8 squared times my 90 ohms okay so we've got 2.8 on the calculator we go to the square button which is up the top here we square it we times it by 90 and we get an equal and we get 704.6 watts okay remember power is watts all right not amps or ohms so this part here is giving us our answer to there so the next one when we look at something in parallel it, even if we had power right in voltage drop or anything in power if we've asked for voltage drop or current now if you look at i right i here we would need v over r and we would need the voltage drop of these two resistors here to work out this formula and voltage drop here is i times r all right voltage drop so we need the current and resistance so the first thing i need to do is work out voltage drop so voltage drop of the 60 ohm resistor equals i times r if we come back to ohm's law voltage drop i times r okay so now 2.8 amps was my total but the secret is here i need to use the 36 because the 2.8 amps is not flowing through one resistor but through both so I need to use a common denominator here. So 36 is what I'm going to times it by, 36. And let's go. Let's have a look on our calculator. All right, clear. So 36 times 2.8. Done that back to front, but it'll still work out. And we get 100.8. Is my voltage drop okay so we've now got that so voltage drop has that one and the last one we've got to work out is i90 now i90 will be said as v over r so what i'm going to do with that is i've got the voltage drop then the voltage drop was 100.8 volts divided by now the resistance is 90 so we put 90 down here and we find out what have we got so we've got 100.8 divided by 90 equals 1.12 amps so the balance of our current would be and because it's 60 90 it works out so the total of this which we worked out here is what works out for the i90 so it looks complicated, but I'm going to do another one in a minute and I'm going to string these little videos together and I'm going to swap around how we've done different things so we can use these different formulas and you can get an idea of how things work. Okay, all right, I'll be back in a second. We'll do the next one.